Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. Welcome to another live broadcast. And in today, I'm going to be talking about herringbone soakaways. There's so many different soakaway designs out there, but the herringbone is one of the most popular designs in the market, in, you know, on the UK market today. So I'm going to explain what a herringbone septic tank soakaway is. I'm going to show you how a herringbone septic tank soakaway works, and I'm going to show you how to design and install a, a septic tank herringbone soakaway. So what do I mean, first of all, by um, a septic tank herringbone soakaway? Well, let me show you. Let me show you right here. All right, so here we go. This is a typical, what a typical herringbone septic tank soak away looks like. Now they can come in all different shapes and sizes. This particular one is made out of red, solid red plastic slotted pipes, but it isn't just, um, there's many other different designs and products that make up a herringbone. So here's some examples here. Here's one um, made from um, slotted, perforated, uh, flexible um, underground pipe. And as you can see, there's a gravel bed under there. Here's another example of one. Again, you've got slotted pipe there. I mean, so w why do they call them herringbones? Well, basically because the name was um, came about because it's based on um, the shape of a herringbone. So if you look, you've got a central spine running down the core or the middle of the fish, and then you've got these branches that come out from the central spine, and that's basically why they call them a herringbone uh, soak away. And, um, but the point being is, you know, it's the principle that we're dealing here. It's a network of branches and arteries that actually make up the soak away. So there's no right or wrong way to make a herringbone soak away and all are perfectly legal to use. All right, so let's get straight into this then. So let me show you, right, how to construct your very own herringbone soak away. So here we've got the septic tank, all right? So that's the septic tank. And here we've got a pit that we've um, excavated ready to put our herringbone soak away in. So the first thing you need is an inspection chamber. All right. So here's an inspection chamber. It's um, it can be a 460 mil inspection chamber or it can be a, a, a 360 mil inspection chamber. It doesn't matter. But the point being is on every inspection chamber, you'll notice here that it's got female outlets. In this case, it's got three, and that's important because you feed the pipes into the outlets coming off the inspection chamber. So let me zoom out now and show you what I mean. All right, so if I just turn it around that way so you can see. All right, there we go. Okay, so the first thing is you would put your first pipes in. So the first pipes as I said, would slot into the female connector of the inspection chamber. So you've got your left and right branch there. Then once you've done that, you will then start to create the central spine, which goes into the center um, female connector. And then from there, you can then start adding your branches. So this is typically how most people construct a herringbone so great. But there's one thing I forgot to tell you first of all, right? So let me just reverse back here. The first thing you put down <laughs> before you put your herringbone pipes um, into the inspection chamber is a gravel bed. All right, so there's a gravel bed. So the gravel bed typically is, um, it's a bed of shingle, gravel, or, or, or whatever material you want to use that the pipes sit on. Why do they have a gravel bed? Because once the water comes out from the septic tank soak away pipes, it can then percolate or drain into the gravel bed and then it can drain into the soil. So that's the first thing you need to do. So it, the, the amount of uh, shingle or gravel that you need for your sh soak away single, uh, shingle bed can differ 
upon the size of the soakaway. The size of the soakaway I deal with in other videos on my site, septictank.co.uk. So we're just dealing with the principle here rather than the particular size or measurements. So anyway, once you've got your gravel down, then as I showed you before, you put your left and right uh, prongs on, branches of the soak away on there. And then let me just spin this round. All right, so there we go. So now you've got a base and a basis for which to start adding the flexible soak, soak away pipes. Now, personally, I like using the black perforated pipes because they're flexible and they've got perforations all the way through them. Whereas the orange slotted underground pipe, it's OK. You don't have to use it. But once the underground slits on the um, belly of the orange pipe clog up, you're stuffed. Whereas on the black pipe here, They've got 360 degree of perforations of holes on the pipe, allowing for a complete um, uh, disposal of all that wastewater that goes down those pipes. All right. So once you've laid your um, black soak away perforated pipes, then you need to put some membrane on top of the um, the perforated pipe. So if I come down here and look at a cross section, so there you can see you've got the gravel bed there, you've got your perforated pipes and you've got your membrane on top. Then on top of that membrane, you then put another layer of gravel. In fact, I've done it wrong. It's been a long day today. Let me start again. Sorry. You've got your perforated pipes there. Sorry. Let me start again on that. Apologies for that. It's been so hot. I'm so busy today that uh, <laughs> my mind is elsewhere. So let me start that again. Right. You've got your pipes there on top of the gravel bed. The next thing you do is put the gravel on top of the pipes. And so if I come down here, it's like a sandwich. So if I show you here, so you're, you've got your bottom layer of your sandwich uh, gravel. You've got your top layer of the gravel, which in effect, looks like a sandwich. Now, before you can put the soil back over, hold on, we're going a bit mad here. Hold on, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Come on, technology, don't let me down. There we go, that's better. So once you've done that, you then put the membrane on top of the gravel. There we go, we got there in the end. All right, so this is what it looks like in a cross section. It really does look like a sandwich, right? <laughs> you've got your bed of shingle, You've got your pipes, you've got your shingle on top, then you've got the membrane. Now, the membrane is very important because once you've put your soil on top of the membrane, it stops any soil leaking through the membrane, going into the gravel and clogging the pipes up. So that's what it looks like when you're finished. OK, so I hope I didn't make too much of a mess up of that by getting things back to front, but you get the point, don't you? So that's what it will look like. Let's just put everything over here. So that's what it will look like when it's finished. So if I just strip back the layers again, so if we take off the soil, we take off the membrane, we take off the, um, uh, the gravel, then that is what the herringbone soak away pipe will look like once you've installed it. All right. So how does this, how does this, um, herringbone system work? Well, that's a very good question. So let me just take that off. So what happens is if you've got your septic tank here, right? And all the wastewater from your house enters the septic tank. So if I just cut it in half, so there you go. So that's what a septic tank will look like when the wastewater has left your house and gone into it. Now from there, the wastewater that makes its way through the outlet pipe and then it makes its way into where is it well on into the soak away pipes and the soak away pipes then allow the wastewater to evenly distribute and soak away into the gravel once it soaks into the gravel it will then soak away into the soil so that's basically how a herringbone system works so there you go. I, I hope that uh, has helped you today. As I said, um, I'm sorry if uh, I'm sorry if I got things a bit back to front there, but you can at least tell it's live and it's not edited, you know. 
So listen, thank you very much for watching, taking the time to watch this video today. If you need any more free help and advice, then you can go to, let me show you this. If you need any more free help and advice, then you can just go to my website, which is septictank.co.uk. And um, you'll notice here at the top, if I just make it a bit bigger for you, you'll notice that um, it's got one of the tabs here, it says soak away kits. If you click the soak away kits there, you'll see we do a whole range of soak away kits. We do, um, uh, you know, complete kits with septic tanks and soak aways and the, all the pipes that come with them. You can get septic tank soak away crates or what's very popular as well is Easy Drain, which is the product that many people use now for um, putting the herringbone systems in. The easy drain basically means you don't have to use the gravel. You don't need a gravel bed. And um, uh, you, you don't need a gravel bed and you don't need the gravel on top of the pipe because the membrane acts, uh, basically cutting, make it, putting it in real simple terms, the membrane on there is the latest scientific technology and it regulates the flow rate out from the perforated pipe. So it does what the gravel does and more and allows the water to naturally soak away into the soil. So, um, so there you go. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video today. Let me just get rid of that other picture. There we go. If you want more free help and advice, as I said, then just go to septictank.co.uk or you can go onto Google and type in septic tank TV. If you subscribe, to my YouTube channel, Septic Tank TV, you're in with a chance to win a massive bucket of septic tank soak away worms that you can tip into your septic tank, which will unblock your soak away and um, keep them free from problems. You know, say, say for example, you've got a septic tank uh, soak away and it's starting to fail or, or you feel it may be clogged up with fat grease in the sludge. You can put the septic tank soak away worms into the septic tank. They make their way into the soak away and they eat all the fat and the grease in the sludge. They also prevent septic tank and soak away problems. But the point is you can get a free bucket if you subscribe to my septic tank TV YouTube channel. So listen, thank you very much for watching this live broadcast today. Um, you take care and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.